Oh, good evening, everyone. Just, um, I said I'd come back to you um, when we'd made the appointment to the technical director, and you'll have seen this afternoon that uh, we have. I think I said uh, at a recent interview that um, a week in football's <laughs> it's busy, to say the least, and um, I think with the appointment of uh, Jamie, with the fact that we uh, did win, uh, finally, um, at the match at the weekend, um, we just seem to be in a better place now than we were and I think with the uh, as I mentioned in the program notes with the young players beginning to really blossom at the club I just feel a lot better about things than uh, I did uh, a month ago I hope you do too which is more important um, I think with Jamie um, you've he's done an interview this afternoon but um, and I've said in previous notes to you that um, this is about improving the club in its entirety from the football perspective. He's a member of the board which is unusual um, and um, he um, will have the responsibility for improving everything in the football club from start to finish and allowing Brian to concentrate on managing the first team performance. It's an important distinction and um, you know um, Jamie were there to support Brian, challenge him uh, in decision making, help him in decision making, help him with the first team. But his remit goes way beyond that. He goes about the style of the football that we play, the recruitment of the players and helping Brian with that. A very close relationship with Brian. Uh, people ask me, well, who will choose the team? Uh, the answer is Brian. Uh, unequivocally, the answer is Brian Dutton will choose the first team and Jamie will be there to support him to make sure that you know the decisions that are made are challenged and they're correct and uh, you know we all need healthy challenge whether it's me or it's uh, it's, it's Brian uh, Brian Dutton. So I, I hope you're um, pleased with the the change of direction, the appointment. You know I, I said um, a few weeks ago it's very important that you manage the risks around the football club. You do not allow one individual to come in one day and decide he wants to go somewhere else and the whole club is starting to turn more. A turn more which we have um, you know, come to terms with but it's taken a few weeks. I do not want that to happen again. So uh, Jamie coming in will give us continuity and stability in the football club. Uh, managers come, managers go technical directors hopefully do not. So we have some degree of continuity, it's, but it's all about improving the football standards across the whole football club, everything. And it's, it strikes me as, um, you know, we sit on a board for a football club, but no one on the board knows anything about football. I don't mean that in the extreme sense, you know, we've all watched huge amounts of football, but none of us are ex-players and none of us are ex-coaches. Having somebody on the board who was and is, is an important addition. And that linkage between the board and the playing staff will be, uh, you know, extremely important. It was an exhaustive process to find um, um, Jamie. Um, as I mentioned before, over a hundred applicants for this role. Um, that's good, but it's also in some respects it just creates a huge amount of work in filtering the whole process, interviewing. I spent just under 20 hours interviewing for this particular role before we, um, Steph and I agreed on, uh, on Jamie. Um, and you know, all these things carry risks, but I hope it will be very, very successful, that combination of head coach and technical director for us and you'll see a different sort of walls of football club going forward. As ever, thanks for your support. I hope we uh, have a good result against uh, Tranmere tonight. Many thanks and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.